Today I want to share a deep learning idea for InSteel. They sell welded wire reinforcement, which is basically a replacement for rebar and, and other products that part of the construction process, like stuff that goes in cement. I'll have a number of videos on this because I'm really excited about the different applications for machine learning for their business in particular. And I know nothing about construction, go figure. Um, but here, what's the scoop with InSteel and where do I think deep learning and some of this stuff could help? Well, first of all, they are doing extremely well. They have revenues of $800 million, a 40% in their last fiscal year. And in particular, they sell this welded wire reinforcement product. It's stronger than rebar, it's lighter, and it's way easier to install, all of which means the labor cost associated with install is, is, is dramatically lower. So customers really like it and their sales reflect that. Their core strategy moving forward is like double down on these welded wire reinforcement sales. And so one analytic question that came to me, like this could be obvious to others or totally irrelevant, but it's just the location of existing rebar, uh, I want to say deployments, but I mean installations like construction. Um, and this is something that right now, deep learning, machine learning analytics aside, using ground penetrating radar systems, there are engineers that are going out there and looking for rebar. So this is an open question. I'm not, I don't think I'm coming at this totally out of left field. Where, you know, where does the rebar exist in these various, in these various um, uh, builds? What's the quality of it? How deep is it? What's the size of it? There are these kind of basic questions that help feed into, do we need to replace it? What's the structural integrity of this, of this building? And so uh, right now, the way this works with the ground penetrating radar system is it's a device that goes over the ground, an engineer who has a ton of analytical, analytical experience, you know, and, and, and engineering experience and has, and has a lot of a priori knowledge about what's going on in this environment, reviews all of these images manually, so very expensive, time consuming, and then comes to determination. There have been a number of recent research papers using ML and deep learning techniques, in particular single shot detection models and object detection technique we talked about in a previous video that are showing some efficacy, like we can figure this out by using an ML model instead of an expensive time consuming instead of a person, right? Which would save money, save time. So the idea for me is I would link this back to Instill. One idea high level is, well, gosh, like your pipeline of demand, one of the challenges is, hey, you're in a very highly cyclical business, interest rates, supply chain, supply chain issues, just federal spending, all of these things impact construction demand. It might be useful to have a really strong understanding of where all of the rebar exists, because that represents, you know, an opportunity and then stack rank that based on the essentially the quality of that rebar. So the, the likelihood or the necessity of replacement, we could think of some kind of score that we could we could build from this. And as a key input into that score, you know, a FICO score for rebar health, which hopefully, I mean, I'm sure all this exists for building health, but one interesting element here might be some of these deep learning techniques applied. What this last bit here is gonna be a bit of a stretch, but most of these, as I understand it, these ground penetrating radar, radar devices are, they look kind of like lawnmowers, at least the ones that you, I, I've seen on, that I've seen on the internet and they're rolled over the ground, but there are companies selling these via drones. Now I haven't read any of the papers that said they used a drone mounted GPR system, but nevertheless, if you'll go with me on this, you can imagine a relatively low cost way of covering a large swath of territory. You have one of these ground penetrating radar systems attached to a drone. And instead of having to pay engineers to go through hundreds of images or feeding this through a model, this could be a significant competitive advantage because it's going to, again, help them identify the rebar, figure out stack rank, which are the highest priorities, which ones really need to come out, should build some goodwill in the marketplace, but also hopefully flatten out or better predict the demand that's going to be coming from these different projects when they need to replace this, which would ultimately help continue to grow sales for InSteel.